question 58 is a real thinking one here from the ACT. So I have not looked at this question since I just wrote this stuff out before the video began about 10 seconds ago. So I'm just thinking about this now as I work through it. So the question's asking for the minimum value for, of this expression in terms of like h, k, and q, whatever those numbers actually are. So there's two things that are going on here. Firstly, we've got what looks like a pretty standard quadratic equation, and um, nicely they use the letters that we normally use for h and k, but then we've got these absolute value brackets around it, and we've got this minus q on the end here as well. So let's think about this. It's asking us for the minimum value of this. Now, if I were just talking about the, this bit, the minimum value of this would be k, um, because it's a quadratic equation, um, and, ooh, okay, that's interesting. So it's a quadratic equation, but it opens down like this, because we've got this negative sign here in front of this. Now, this is going to turn, the absolute value brackets are going to turn this positive, so what that means is that any bits that are, let's draw ourselves an imaginary x-axis here, any bits that are below the x-axis, it will flip above the x-axis like this. So the final value that we get will be like this. Now then, after we've done that, it's asking us um, to move this down by q units. Interesting. So our minimum value is not this bit, the vertex of the quadratic, but it's actually, in fact, well, one of these two bits. They'll both be at the same height, whatever they are. So we're looking for this value. Now, we need to ask ourselves, how does this value come about? Well, on our original equation, if we just take this bit here, we had a parabola that was like this. Let's just draw the y-axis over here so it's out of the way, and that height was k. It doesn't actually matter what that height was, because when we flipped it up here, this value, which is the one that we're looking for here, was a root. So when we move it down by q, it's going to be at minus q, because originally it was zero. Wherever it is, it's now at minus q units. So the minimum value of this graph is going to be at minus q, which is answer choice f. That's a really interesting question, and I promise you I didn't know the answer to this when I started out this video. So that was me talking through it as I'm thinking. I suggest that you replay it again just to make sure that you got everything I said there.